right, good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And you guys know I did a message just recently here on Hebrews chapter 11. Um, and I'm really not going back to that for that purpose. I actually have Mark open as well. Chapter 11, I want to focus here on verse 23. But there's a reason why I want to do this. And I think it's going to better resonate with you as I do. Let's quickly, though, take a look at this scripture here in Mark chapter 11. For verily I say unto you, Jesus says, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Now, let's drop back and look at this for just a moment again. Jesus says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever, there's where you want to put the emphasis, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be you removed and be you cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive if you have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. We already know this part of the, the, the passage there. But I wanted to just share this with you for a moment. Because oftentimes when... I meet people or if I'm going to pray for people. People a lot of times tend to think they don't have faith. I was actually talking and I don't think Sister Amy would mind me saying her name. But I was talking with Sister Amy uh, earlier this evening. And we were talking about faith. And as I talked with her, kind of remind me of, uh, of another brother. Won't call his name but uh, for the, at this particular moment. But he, I was praying for his wife. And when I began to speak with her, I knew that she had the most remarkable faith you could ever imagine. Amazing faith this sister had. Sorry, my glass lens fell out of my glasses here. And so I knew when I prayed for her, I knew that God was going to heal her, and he did. But, you know, sometimes I'm amazed at people when you go to talk to them, and they feel like they don't have faith. And I'm thinking to myself, you guys have amazing faith. And a lot of times you have faith and you don't know you have faith. And sometimes the easiest way for me to prove that is in the negative. It's kind of like one time there was a guy named, uh, we called him Cousin Louie. It was Joey's uh, cousin, good friend of mine. And... I would come into, uh, actually, Cousin Louie came from upstate New York. I uh, came down, uh, well, I say upstate, maybe the Bronx. I forget exactly where he's from. Very, very rough guy. Been in prison and stuff. And he came down to Florida. He was working there at Joey's Body Shop. And, boy, was he had the foulest mouth you could ever imagine. Every other word out of his mouth began with the letter F. constantly saying bad words. And he didn't care if you were a Christian or not. He just let it all fly. 
one day I came in, and, I, and for some reason I just happened to like Cousin Louie, though. Even though he was a, a bad character, I liked him. And I said to him one day, I said, you know, Cousin Louie, I said, you would make the most incredible Christian you could ever meet. I said, I just, I know you would. I said, you will make, and I didn't say it as a possibility. I said it as a matter of fact. I said, you will make the most incredible Christian that there's ever been. And he looked at me and he's like, what the F? Yeah, he said it. He said, Steve, with his New York accent, full blown all the way, Italian mafia accent. He says, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean? What do you mean Christian? Oh my God, what do you mean? You effing lost your mind? Me? No way. No way. I'd never a dog in a church. The church would burn down to the ground. This is the way he would talk to me. I said, yeah. I said, you'll see, Cousin Louie. I said, I'm telling you. I said, you? Incredible. And so finally his curiosity got the better of him. He asked me, he says, what makes you think, Steve, I would make such a good Christian in the first place? What even makes you think that? I said, because you make an excellent servant of the devil. And he goes, oh, my God. What are you talking, Steve? Oh, my God. Servant of the devil? I'm, whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, I know I'm not the best guy in the world, but no servant of no... I said, oh, yeah. I said, Cousin Louie, I said, you... I said... You are, I said, look, I've never seen someone so faithful to serving the devil as you are. I said, this is honest to God's truth. I'm telling you the truth. I said, you are top. I said, primo. I said, the best, the best. And uh, I said, but because of that, I know that God gets a hold of your life. I said, you will make an incredible Christian. Well, he goes home. He tells his wife about this. I don't even know this, right? But he goes home and he tells his wife. He says, do you know, Stephen? Do you know Steve, what Stephen said? He said, I would make an excellent Christian. Can you believe this? Can you believe Steve would say this? Well, it really must have got to him because even Joey mentioned to me one day, he says, you really have gotten to Cousin Louie. He says, he's telling everybody that he would be a great Christian. Well, time went by I I was away for a while I don't know maybe a year whatever I come back and when I came back I think this is when I went over to Israel back oh gosh I don't know 2015 2016 I was gone for a while come back to the United States and I stopped by to see Joey and when I did come walking into the office was cousin Louie it was on a Sunday, uh, no, it wasn't a Sunday, maybe a Monday, something like that. I forget what it was. But anyway, Cousin Louie comes walking in the office. He's dressed very nice, very handsome looking. His wife was with him, dressed very nice. And when he opened his mouth, I knew something had happened to him. And I had not been there long enough to even ask about Cousin Louie. And he says to me in a very calm, very kind, very loving voice. He said, you remember Brother Steve? And then he called me brother. Never called me brother before. You remember Brother Stephen? When you said I would make a good Christian. And I said, yes, Cousin Louie. I said, but I didn't say a good one. I said you would make a great Christian. He said, well, I did give my life to Jesus Christ since I saw you last. And he said, and I am now a deacon in the church. Can you believe this? I said, I always knew you would make an incredible Christian. I say this, though, I wanted to share this with you. This, and I've shared this testimony before with you. But I wanted to share something else with you. 
because it deals with faith. And I wanted to share this as a result because it's something I said to Amy tonight. I was telling Amy about a friend of mine I was talking to not long ago. And I said to the friend, I said, listen, And it, the person was a person that, you know, when it come to faith, they didn't think they had faith either. And I said, you have amazing faith. I said, you know, not every time I meet someone, I could say that person has great faith. I said, but sometimes I meet people and I know they have great faith. And so I told this person, I said, in your case, I know you have amazing faith. And it was kind of like a little perplexing, I think. It was like, what do you mean I have great faith? I said, because everything you say happens to you. And that I think really resonated. Sounds like the cat's at the door. But my daughter will answer that, I hope. I don't know if she's even in here, but maybe she is. But anyway, yeah, the cat knocks at the door, right? So I'm like, yes, I said, because everything that you say happens. And they're like, what are you talking about? Now, let me take this on a personal level for you. I want you to think about this for a moment. Yes, the cat is now here with me. When you think you don't have faith, but yet each day you speak about your condition, you speak about yourself in the negative. You speak about you're in pain. You don't feel well. Your back hurts. Your leg hurts. Your head hurts. Whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, I used to go into the store sometime and as a little joke, I'd say it only as a joke, not realizing what I was doing, but I would say, <clears throat> they would ask me, how do you feel today, Steve? I said, half of me feels pretty good. The other half doesn't feel so great. But what you don't realize <clears throat> is that Jesus has already said, whatsoever <clears throat> shall, excuse me, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed, and be you cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. <clears throat> Remember the scripture where it says the rain comes on the just and the unjust? He makes his sun to shine on the just and the unjust. It also applies with faith. Every time we speak negatively about ourself, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, financial, it doesn't make any difference what it is. If you speak negative about yourself, even financially, you're going to have a negative problem. And the thing is, as that happens in your life, that's actually telling you something that you didn't know about yourself. You have amazing faith. Because if you can cause all the negativity to happen in your life by what you say, imagine what will happen when you reverse that around and start speaking positively about yourself. Instead of saying, <clears throat> you know, and, and granted, one of the funny things is, is when it's, let's say, for example, someone is wanting to borrow money from you and you're quick to say, 
uh, I'm sorry, we're too broke. We can't do anything to help you. You may not even be broke, but you'll say it, right? And then the next thing you know, you end up being broke. Isn't that funny how that happens? You see, God has a law. And in that law, he's already said to you, whatsoever things you say, and you believe those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. There's other scriptures like that as well. And Jesus always spoke these things in the positive, but the thing is, it works both ways. Especially for a son or daughter of God. Why? Because the living God lives within you. Jesus said, the works that I do, you'll do also, but greater than this, for I go unto my Father. Imagine that. So you want to be very careful about what you say. And start recognizing that when you speak the negative, you're causing it to happen. So if that happens, then surely then God can hear and God can, and, and you do have faith. You just didn't realize you had faith. It's not how you feel. It's what you say that matters. So think about it, especially in light of Hebrews 11. Faith is the substance of things, not the word hoped, things expected for the evidence of things not seen. Faith is real, it's tangible. It's a tangible evidence of those things that you are expecting. Expecting. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking that time. And uh, listen, if God lays it on your heart to support the work we do, IsraeliNewsLive.org, also our Patreon channel. I'll be doing a broadcast over there tomorrow. And uh, in another great way not just to support the work we do here but to really help and benefit you lifewave.com forward slash benun the amazing testimonies from people that have purchased this product just since we announced this three weeks ago is already mind-boggling we had a sister come on the other night she heard about it she asked if it helps if there were any testimonies about parkinson's people with parkinson's uh, she flew to alaska to her sister her sister came on our zoom meeting the other night and already after three days of use was already getting positive results uh, my wife just sent you know, we're getting testimonies in from people like crazy that have already started using it. Uh, one sister, Brenda, my wife sent some of the pain patches. I think they, what do they call those things now? I forget the name of those. But she sent her the, 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 the pain patch that they make. X39 also works with that because that's what activates your baby's stem cells. That's why so many people are having amazing results from this uh, photo light therapy that this does. It activates the copper peptides in your body and then that activates your baby stem cells and that, they go to work on repairing whatever is wrong inside of you and uh, uh, so uh, the sister uh, Brenda was telling my wife because she sent her some of the ones for pain and she says oh my gosh she said immediately and this poor little sister has suffered so much pain always in her back, her neck, just had surgery not too long ago, but uh, amazing testimony. She said instantly the pain goes away. I finally figured out how to get the balance of using it so I could use it in the daytime as well. And I was pain-free up until lunchtime today. And I felt it trying to come off. I reached back, next thing I know it fell off in my hand. That's because I'd already moved it like three or four times trying to find the right spot. 
But I finally found the right spot. But as soon as I took it off, within about five minutes, the pain went massive. Uh, that's because the patch has to be on to actually work. So it let me know it does work. Anyway, we got this testimony here too. Uh, I said, my brother David, uh, uh, he, he was diagnosed with a fatal brain disease. The scan showed that he had a tumor and he is having extreme headaches and sleeping all the time. When I heard what uh, was going on with him right away, uh, took out some of the X39 patches to him. His very first day wearing them, he said he had a lot more energy and he was even able to cook dinner for his family. After two months of being on the patches, oh, by the way, this is not a story from, uh, from our own group. I apologize. I was thinking it was. But anyway, still a great story, though. Uh, he was sent to a neurological because of his uh, doctor felt that he may have uh, misdiagnosed him. After more scans were done, his tumor is gone, and now he just has a benign mass. He is a miracle patch wonder, as they said on there. Listen, they're going to tell you, they can't, they tell you straight up, we can't say that this heals you or anything like that, and I get that. It's supposed to assist your body, and your body does that work. And I get that too. I really do. Um, I can tell you as well, this arm right here was completely purple the other, about no more than a week ago. And it happens as a result because I have to use steroids and I'm not using them as much now. But when I do, because of the severe spinal injury that I've suffered with, if I do something, my arm gets bruised, the entire arm turns almost black. And this arm was literally nearly completely, or I'd say a dark purple, just bruised from the wrist all the way up to the elbow. Normally when that happens, it takes about a month, no joke, a month for that to clear up. When less than a week, it's nearly completely cleared up. I mean, just constantly there's something new going on that we're finding out that this is helping with. So that's why I just encourage you, you may want to at least try it. Uh, sure, you can also earn income with this. I'm not even going to discuss that part with you right now. You want to email us about that, you can. Uh, and that would be our email address is benoonx 39 at gmail.com. I'll put it in the description below. But if you go to the website, lifewave.com forward slash benoon, you know, you want to order the X. The X39 is what a lot of people are getting right now. I couldn't encourage you enough to do it. Uh, and I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't ha or haven't seen firsthand uh, incredible results from this product. So that's why I'm standing behind it, you know, and sharing it with people just left and right. And already, like I said, even our own group of people that have come on and, and have tried the product already, we're hearing all kinds of amazing uh, results and not everybody gets them immediately not everybody has a testimony immediately some people it does take a lot more time uh, nothing wrong with that that's the way it depends on how your body reacts so but anyway and I don't want to be long-winded about that it's just I'm I'm just that excited about it I have to tell you I'm, I'm sincerely I say it with the deepest of sincerity I'm that excited about the product uh, and the the benefits from it, and and not just the X39. I, I really, I mean, they a lot of people focus on the X39, but I mean everything from the, you know, they have the silent night patch that you can wear that helps you sleep. You wake up with no hangover, no side effects. My wife, she now I I am the one with the worst sleep habit, but even she doesn't sleep super well. She's always had to take sleeping medication to sleep. I mean, she's been doing that for probably six, seven years. Uh, now she's starting to sleep using just patches, and she slept the other night for nine hours straight. I'm like, I was wondering what the heck was going on, right? Because I'm down here in Florida doing my dad's business. She's up in Tennessee, and I'm like, she's not even paying attention to my text. And she was sleeping away, boy, so... You know, uh, you know, the PTSD, 
that is a that is a miracle of, of of all miracles for our family. It really, really, honestly is. So you know, so many people ask about different things. You can just look up online. Just put in X thirty nine and whatever it is that you're dealing with, and check out the testimonies on there. Uh, but if it's something you want to try out, go to our website, lifewave.com forward slash Benoon. And, uh, and I'm sure, uh, I really feel confident that you will never regret the day you do that. So God bless you. Thank you. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Also, EMP Shield. Uh, I'll just quickly mention EMP Shield as well. Uh, and, you know, can't seem to type it very well. But uh, like I said, they normally run discounts uh and i'm just curious to see uh if they're going to have one uh they're not still not showing it as a yet but i do expect they're going to have a christmas discount on here uh coming up there you know amazing product there and that's another one that's the only one i've ever endorsed before was emp shield because of the the real threats that we face of an emp attack uh, of course it's not just limited emp attack you know, lightning strikes, uh, it is a the most incredible surge protecting device you could have on your home, uh, but on your vehicle for the possibility of EMP strike, etc. I, I cannot stress enough uh, of how wonderful that could be for you. They, they cover everything, generators, solar, radios, you name it. But when you choose to buy any product they have, if you use the INL50 code, uh, on, on in your cart there, uh, they will give you a $50 discount. That's why it's called INL50. The 50 is for $50 discount. INL for Israeli News Live. And uh, they apply that for as many times as you buy a product. So if you need two or three for different reasons, every one of them is going to get $50 off. I'm Steve Benoon. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed evening. And God bless you and your family.